One thing you do go to the libraries for is to read about history. And people who want to save libraries have a sense of history, and saving our libraries preserves a sense of history. We have a historian here with us today, David Lewis. He's famous for uh, a book he wrote about W.E. Du Bois. And I'd like to ask him to say a few words. Uh, it's really great to see that uh, our elected officials have uh, caught the fire on this issue. Um, I spent uh, a fair amount of my life uh, in the 42nd Street Library, and I've written a number of books in consequence. Um, there are reasons, I suppose, to consolidate, and preservation of books is terribly expensive, but every rationale that has been given in connection with the gutting of the 42nd Street Library turns out to have been fraudulent. It is very clear that this is a real estate operation that is masquerading as a reform to make the people's palace accessible. Well, it's always been a people's palace. All you need do is walk up the steps past the lions of what is now called the Schwarzman Building, and you have full access to the facilities of the library. If those two uh, buildings are sold, the Midtown and the Science Library, and the amount of money raised, and the fees that will be received from those sales go ahead, and the stacks are removed from under the iconic Rose Reading Rooms, as Ada Louise Huxtable pointed out as she went to her grave, and as Michael Kimmelman really pointed out in the Times, then we will have had a catastrophe that will make and exceed what happened to Penn Station when real estate development uh, uh, resulted in some consciousness about uh, the preservation of iconic structures. Uh, the money is fraudulent, $150 million of taxpayers' money sailing through the city council, and then the 200 or $300 million raised from the sale of the properties uh, for what purpose? For uh, a Starbucks, essentially. That's uh, what we'll, we'll have. Sorry to be so excited. I hope I made sense, uh, but uh, let's stop it. We need our libraries. And by the way, more people are using libraries and are going to sports events now. Yeah.